programming question we have been given a c program and we have to determine what would be the output returned by that so it is a recursive program so let us try to create out the recursion tree for this in the main function we are calling this function foo with these parameters 15 15 and 10 now those arguments when go into this function then this x becomes let us denote function f foo as f and the initial parameters are 15 15 and 10 so then we go into this function call and which of these conditions satisfy x less than 0 no y less than or equal to 0 no similarly these two do not satisfy so we go on to this step and we return function foo of x which means 15 then y minus q so 15 minus 10 5 and this remains the same so we return the sum of these two actually and on this side x is decremented by q so that becomes 5 rest to remain the same so this is what we get after the first recursive call then what does this function do again none of the conditions satisfy for this so it will again return these two functions 15 minus 10 so 5 5 10 plus f of now this time 15 will remain same and this uh, y will be decremented by q this one y minus q means 5 minus 10 so minus 5 and 10 that is what it will return similarly for this one again two function calls will be made first one will be 5 minus 10 so minus 5 15 10 and next is 5 will remain the same 15 minus 10 5 and 10 so we have got these four recursive calls and the values returned by all the four of them will be added together now looking at this first one f of 5 5 and 10 let us uh, take that separately over here now in this one we can see again none of these conditions are satisfying so again two more function calls will be made the first one would be here 5 minus 10 so minus 5 5 10 and next one would be 5 minus 5 10 now for this one if we check out the value of x is less than or equal to 0 so that that time this condition will be satisfied and what does that return it returns f of x remains the same so minus 5 and only the y is decremented now so that will give minus 5 10 similarly for this one the last condition will be satisfied y is less than or equal to 0 so that will be returning f of x minus q so 5 minus 10 minus 5 minus 5 and 10 both of them are making the same function calls now so what is the result of that now x and y are both negative hence we'll go to this first condition it is being satisfied and the value return will be simply q so both of these will return the value of q which is 10 and the sum of that 10 plus 10 so this will be returning 20 so here this call returns 20 and that same call is again there at the end that will also return 20 now for these two calls let us check out what are the function calls they are making here y is negative so this condition is satisfied only x will be decremented so that will give us f of 5 minus 5 10 similarly this will be f of minus 5 15 minus 10 5 and 10 now as we can see these calls are similar to the ones which we calculated below this one matches to this because y is negative and for this one x is negative so this is the matching call and as we just saw both of them are returning the value of q which is 10 so these two will also return the value of 10 so i've got the four values returned by all the four of these function calls and all of them will be added to give the final answer for this one 20 plus 10 30 will be returned similarly for this one 10 and 20 will give 30 so at the final first recursive call the two values we have got is 30 and 30 so their sum which is 60 that will be returned hence the value which will be coming into this variable r will be 60 and we are simply printing that so output of this program will also be 60.